Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Quitniak. I miss all of you. I thought I would bring you some second grade science. Now for some of you, the last time I saw you, we were talking about matter. Who remembers what matter is? That's right, matter is all around us. Everything is made up of matter. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the three states of matter. Can you name them? That's right, solid, liquid, and gas. So today I'm going to show you those three states of matter. I have three containers in front of you. So I'm going to show you the first one. I have a ball. Watch what happens when I put the ball into this glass. The ball is a solid. It didn't change its shape or size. In this container, I'm going to show you a liquid. I have a glass that's full of water. I colored it red so that it'd be easier for you to see. Right now, the liquid, the water, is taking the shape of this glass. Watch what happens when I pour it into the bowl. The water took the shape of the bowl, so liquids can be poured and they will take the shape of whatever container they are in. Now the last one is gas. Gases almost always are invisible. So this is gonna be kind of hard to see, so make sure you're watching and paying attention. I boiled some water earlier and poured it into this container. Watch what happens. As you can see, the water vapor or steam made the side of the container foggy or cloudy. That is the water turning into a gas. When water boils and you see the steam, that is a gas. Now, all matter has very tiny particles or molecules in them. So you can't see them, but scientists use a special tool called a microscope in order to see them. Now, in a solid, the molecules are very close together. They're all touching. That looks like something that we see in math. An array? Look at how they're all touching. They're very close together. They stay nice and tight, okay? In a liquid, there's a little bit more space. They're not touching. And in a gas, you can see there's less and they're very far apart. So that's why when they're in a solid, they can't change. They're all sticking together. In a liquid, they can be poured. That's why we can pour a liquid. And in a gas, they're very far apart and that's why gases float. So the three forms of matter are a solid, a liquid, and a gas. So next time when I see you, I'm going to have a little activity that we can do together and you can, we'll be able to pause the video and follow along with me. It's just a very simple little activity that you will be able to do at home. Now, I have one last little picture that you can see. In this picture, we see trees, the ocean, and clouds. There are all three states of matter in this picture. Can you find them? The trees are a solid, the ocean is a liquid, and guess what the clouds are? They are a gas. All right, boys and girls, that's it for science today. I'll see you next week and have a fun little easy activity for all of us to do. Bye.